Coach Two TV free agent free uh TV show, and we're here with Coach Two Show all the academy uh, cadets. Coach, welcome back. Glad to see you. Uh, great to see you. Yeah. Um, coach, you just came off a, a federation title uh, yet again. Um, so I'm gonna ask you the same question I ask you every year. What's the expectations of the group you got this year? A different group. Oh yeah, different group. Same expectation. Um, we want to be one and all, one championship. And that's what we, we put all our time and efforts into. So uh, we got great kids. They all pull the same direction. And I think that's one of our, our gifts when we play other teams. When they're not together, uh, we are. So we're not going to be the most talented team every game this year. So uh, we have to be the best team. So when you're not the most talented, you have to be the best team. And that's uh, one of our goals. All right, so talk to me about um, you know, some of the pieces that, that you lost last year and, and, and try to work in um, some of the players you've got coming up that going to fill those pieces that you lost. Well, I mean, you don't replace an August Mahoney. He's a shot maker. Uh, he's a great player, a student of the game. Um, he bailed us out of a lot of possessions, being able to shoot it from you know, 25 feet away. Uh, so we're going to miss his, his leadership and his scoring. Saif Ullah was great for us, as was Mike Grandinetti. So you got two senior leaders that will go graduate. Um, this year we're going to replace guys. Um, of course, uh, increased role from uh, Andre Jackson, uh, increased role from Marcus Jackson, increased role from Riley Mulvey, uh, increased role from Preston Graber and James Thompson. So they're, they're you know, the five guys right away that come to mind. Um, that are going to have to increase uh, their productivity th from last year, um, play a little differently. Uh, you know, again, as great as Andre is, he didn't have to be, you know, the go-to guy. He could get his rebounds, his assists. He'd find shooters. He's a winner. Um, this year, he's going to have to score the ball on a more consistent basis. And again, he averaged 19 points, so I'm not saying, um, you know, get 40 every game, but he's going to have to get 25. He's going to, you know, and again, that's with all the attention. Everyone, he can't sneak up on anybody anymore, too. You know, it's publicized him going to UConn, so it's not like you know, all of a sudden he shows up at the gym and they don't know who he is. So um, Mark is going to have to step up. Riley's going to have to grow up. Uh, Preston's going to have to make shots. Uh, James is senior captain. James Thompson, so we have some some pieces. I think that are going to be good this year. Yeah, I mean, you got Riley coming on. You know, he's growing up a little bit, maturing as you come along. What do you expect from him out of this year? And what kind of maturation would you like to see in his game from this from last year to this year? Well, he checks all the boxes. He's six eleven. He's a great student. He's a great kid. He knows the game. He's skilled. So now it all comes down to his mobility and his toughness. And if he can run and do the things that I think he can do, and he can do it at a high level of toughness when people are trying to move him, and he uses that big body to his advantage, then he's going to have a great year. If, if he struggles in that mobility and, and toughness area, then it, it'll be a year of maturation. Like it's just going to be, he's got to keep getting better. That's what Iowa saw on him. He's visited Iowa. He's visited Rutgers already. So they, both those schools have seen that in him. Um, that's really early recruitment at a Big Ten, for Big Ten schools. Um, but uh, they're interested in higher education, and he's really high. So the higher you, how higher you are, the more they want to educate you. Yep. Give me a little secret, Coach. Tell me that guy who's like the seventh, eighth man that's going to be in your team that you're going to count on just to do that stuff that people, you know, people in the stand might necessarily see that you take that you love. So you want me to give you the secret? <laughs> no one else is going to get it. So that's no, 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 no one's going to see it. So that's great. We're going to edit this part. <laughs> sure. Sure you are. Uh, so the guy that's going to sneak up on everyone, I'm going to give it out right here. But no, uh, we have a bunch of guys. Derek Collette's been playing really well. Um, we have uh, Kieran O'Hare. Uh, we have Marcel Davis. Um, so there's guys that I think, and, and again, uh, Anthony Santos. There's guys. There, it's it, That's sort of, you know what, it, it isn't a secret because it's formulating right now. Like, I don't know who that's going to be. Um, you know, it wasn't Saif last year, and he came out. Uh, it wasn't Mike Grandinetti last year, but he just played his way into things. So guys will play themselves into things, and those are the guys that treat every day in practice as their game day. Um, so, you know, once they do that and can capture a role, then we come to rely on them. But talk about your schedule this year, your out-of-conference schedule. Um, you're not just in the 518. Um, just talk about some of those teams, maybe some of the big teams in the 518 you're playing. But talk about some of the schedule you're playing out of, out of the area. Well, the only team we're playing in the area is, is Shamont. So that's, that's our first game of the year. That's it. Um, nobody else. Uh, we'd love to play teams in the area, uh, but just didn't work out um, you know, for, a, for a number of reasons. Uh, I love our schedule because, you know what, most of our games have college coaches at it. So, 
Uh, and that's not always a great thing. I always say uh, sometimes you'll, you'll get exposure or sometimes you'll get exposed. Duh. Um, so that's a that's a tricky uh, tricky word, but I you know I like that we we have interest in all our games and and I'm excited about that schedule. So uh, we'll be challenged and uh, there'll be college coaches at most every one of our games and I think that's great for Marcus Jackson. It's great for Riley. Um, it's great for some of the guys like James that's going to play Division three. Um, Derek's looking to play Division three. So it, it's it's a great balance for both our young guys and our older guys. Southern Vermont, uh, LaSalle, Patroons, Albany Academy. Uh, you kind of make this Sienna. look easy, Sienna. You, <laughs> anything burning desire to, well, I don't, I'm just quoting two out of the last three federation titles, more or what have you. Anything else has a burning desire or challenging you or you feel compelled to be kind of content where you're at right now? Uh, never content. It's, it's always about, you know, getting a group, bringing them to the highest point of wherever that is. So. But chasing other jobs, and no, all there's no. My son's a 10th grader on this team, um, so the you know the honor of coaching your own child um, is always great. Um, and again, I think uh, as long as I'm making a difference, uh, it's important. Uh, if you know, again, been a head coach. It's my 30th season. Uh, been a head coach 26 of those 30. Um, there's not a lot of jobs that someone like myself can get uh, as a head coach, and I don't know how great of an assistant I'd be. So. Um, I think I could be a good one, but you know what? It's not something I think about. Um, it, you know, I, I, I like running a program, and I like our travel schedule, and um, you know, we, we, we have good people, so I, I'm very, very cool. happy. I'm happy <laughs> where we are. Thanks a lot, Coach. We uh, always appreciate your time. Always welcoming to us over here. We wish you guys a success on the upcoming season. Maybe next year you can ask more questions. Yeah. yeah. <laughs>